Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at Kratos from the new God of War video game. So this figure is absolutely amazing. The paint and detailing on this figure are absolutely amazing like i just said but and he comes with a great amount of accessories uh, and so before we get into it let's take a look at those all right so this kratos figure comes with three accessories technically four um but this piece we'll start off with this this is the piece that plugs into his arm as you can see here um so you can plug either the the folded up sort of look um, but if you want to have the shield on his arm, you can just pick that piece off with your nail or something. It's kind of tricky, but if you do it from the right side, then you do it. Um, you can get it good, but yeah, then there's a little slot for the shield to go if you want it. So that's that, I guess. Um, and then into like his main weapons, accessories, um, he comes with... One axe, um, the name of the axe, his name is the Levithan, or the, the Leviathan axe, um, I don't know, something, I'm not, like, 100% of the names and all this stuff, but, yeah, um, but the detail and sculpting on it is, like, is, is, uh, um, like, I'm, like, amazing, <laughs> just, like, looking at it, like, right up close is just, it's really great, like, just taking a look at, like, all the sculpting details, and then the paint, and it just, NECA really knows what they're doing. Like, look at that. The sculpting, little blue guys, and green on the axe looks good. Same thing on the other side. One thing that would have been kind of cool is if it came with um, a sort of like a blue look for it, like it was lit up in the trailers and stuff, but you can see the sculpting, all the detail around it looks really good see the wrap on the handle see right there down there looks like uh, a dragon right there it's good and see all some more sculpting and stuff on the other side the same thing so i think neca did a absolutely amazing job on this and you see the, all the paint is great the black black wash on the, the reddish brown wood and then the, the metallic sort of metal look um, and the shine of the, the actual axe looks great. So yeah, and then the knife looks good too. See all the, the, the paint detail on the handle, looks like it's sort of worn. There's the wrap and then the, the, the blade looks good too. And then the shield is really cool. All the gold details on it, little scales, I guess. And then on this, almost looks like it's like a sword sheath at the same time, you know? Maybe just like that, but I don't know. <laughs> See the little emblems and stuff and details. And it just looks really good, like, all around the, that side of this side. Just the sort of texture. It's great. And then the other side, which is red. Which it looks pretty cool. I didn't like, didn't think it would be like that. But see, even the sculpting on the place where you'd see the least amount of the figure, or up, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like you wouldn't see this part when it was on the figure. But all the details there. There's some like bleeding over a little bit on the red, but not too bad. The sculpting was great. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's all for the accessories. Now let's take a look at this amazing figure. So I know I said this a bunch of times, but NECA actually did just an amazing job with this figure overall um, with all the details. So let's take a look at those first before we get into the rest. Um, Yeah, but looking at the sculpting on this figure, like looking at the face and the eyes, like look at that. Like that's just amazing. And like the paint, it's great. The, the beard looks good. The scars and the wrinkles, the back and the stripe, 
get your knees down, and then, um, yeah, and the thing's covering it. But even underneath, you see, they still painted it, and have scars and all the stuff. Um, you see the arm looks good. All the little, like, red little details and markings. Continues on down there, and then goes back behind. Then see that scar there? And the muscles and the chest. And then you see, um, over there, see the, the textures. So sort of like the animal fur. The textures there. And the, all the fur there looks good. And like probably like leather or something, I don't know. Some gold little lines. Or not not gold, it looks gold. Um, this is gold. This is not. This is like the stitching. Actually, I don't know. So it's, yeah, it's just stitching and stuff. And all the little stuff he has on his belt. So that's the knife sheath, which it can actually go into. By the way. That's pretty cool. Like a horn of some kind. The pouch. Let's see the, the cloth and stuff. Oh, sorry. All the details on the stitching and all over it. And the little tassels. And the belt. And then there's so much. And the legs look good. And the feet. The back. That's good. Now, articulation is pretty well hidden on this figure. Like you can, of course, you can see the, the arm joints, but like the rest is pretty, yeah. Um, so yeah, for articulation, the head can go up about that much, down that far, and then can go all the way around if you wanted to. Um, easier that way, because you can get it over, but um, the arms can go up this much. They have a swivel, and you can go all the way around. Double jointed arms. But they're kind of stiff, so um, but they do have double joints, but yeah. Um, um, it can go all the way around if you wanted to, and it could go back this far and then forward that much, and it can move side to side just a, just a little bit. And the legs can move about that high, and then back, back that that much. Um, this one can move out that much. And the other one can move out a little. Now that they move out, about the same. Um, by the way, on this side, the arm is not limited by the all the stuff. In case you're wondering, um, swivel. Yeah, there's a swivel there. Um, double jointed knees. Um, and then if you can move up and down, the arm's kind of stiff, but that that's good. Um, move up and down, there's a swivel, and there is toe articulation. Overall, I think this figure is absolutely amazing. Um, as you, By the way, you can um, put the, the axe in the little loop there if you wanted to. Like he has it on his back in the game. Um, you can just like take it apart and put it in. Uh, but yeah, um, <laughs> overall this figure is absolutely amazing with the amount of accessories that it comes with and all, all the details. And just just everything's really great on this figure. Um, and, uh, again, if you didn't see it in the uh, live stream I did, uh, make sure to go check that out. I did an unboxing of that and the Groot and Rocket two pack. But um, yeah, I got it at Target for twenty seven ninety nine, I think. Um, so yeah, if you want this figure, go pick it up. Um, if not, um, check out some other reviews. Uh, also, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.